So here he is, the man you've all been waiting for. It's Boba Fett. This is the Star Wars Black Series Archive. Fett. And there he is with his nice artwork on the bottom there. Dint in his helmet, as they say. Yeah. I'm excited for this one because uh, you know I got the knockoff a while ago and I'll be doing a comparison video of those uh, later. This is his moment to shine. So on the back we have the artwork there for the original box. You can see not available from 2013. The notorious bounty hunter Boba Fett prepares to deliver the cabin frozen carbonite frozen Han Solo to Jabba the Hutt. There he is in all his oh, some nice artwork. Uh. It's kind of weird. I I picked one of these up at the weekend, the Hasbro toy. So there'll be a thing of that coming soon, hopefully. Yeah, I like the artwork on there. Right. Anyway. Focus. There we go. There he is in the box. Very nice. Now already I can tell that that cape is so much better. Oh yes, that cape is staying where it's put. And the one on the knockoff. Right, so. And does he stand? Out of box. Reasonably. They always seem to put their ankles the wrong. Yeah. Mess them about a little bit. Yeah, there he is. Now, I don't know, you guys may be able to tell me this. Does this have a different paint job than the 2013 version? Um, let's have a look close up. I only have the knockoff of this, so it's hard to tell. I don't know if for starting the paint apps are different on it by the looks. Well, it seems to have a lot of dinting on there, if you know what I mean. It does look like it's been put on in, you know, with this printing technology thing. There is the chest. The braids are definitely sitting better. Gloves. Got lots. Knee pads. Boots. I say this a lot firmer. So articulation wise, we have left, kind of right, forward, backwards, full, ah, all the way around, arms quite a way out, elbows, doesn't want, to, will go all the way around, but won't go all the way around obviously because of the pad, um, elbow not quite a 90 because of the, thing there, same on that one, obviously has Swivel on the thing there. Knees. Oh, almost a butt kicker. Legs wise that way. These don't get in the way too much. Oh. Swivel on the bottom there. Yeah. That is a really nice looking figure. Right. Extras. We have. Entertain yourselves from it. Do you know it's always the littler guns? I think they pack them better so they don't fall out. But then I can't get them out of the box. Moving them out of the way. So we have his blaster, which is quite nice. Nice detailing on it there. I guess he has two different blasters because this one's different than the one that I've got the toy of. So, hmm, that's something to investigate. There's his other little blaster, which you never really see, but he always comes with it. 
and there is the backpack which I think he has more than one because again I think there's an Empire Strikes Back version and a Return of the Jedi version so that's something that maybe I can use the the knockoff one to paint up as the alternative version what do you think guys yeah uh, has the plug on the back there so let's see how this fits in that goes that way and it fits oh nicely does that make him back heavy though no still stands that's a good start there we go so um that's gun hands on both sides if you look at it but It's kind of weird in the film because he, he stands with a, in like a lot of fancy poses with the blaster. So, but yeah, that fits. That fits nicely. I'm sure you can work on getting that hand around that blaster there. We'll put this in there. There we go. Yeah. Very nice. I say it's got a lot of posability in there. I always like them to actually hold. I don't know why. I'll I'll figure it out. But yeah, that is oops, a very nice figure. I have messed up that cape. That it's uh, go took it in. Brilliant. There we go tucked in oh yeah that's that that is one badass wow I don't know if it's that but I like it so yeah I once met uh, Jeremy Bullock is that how you pronounce his name the guy that was in the suit for well for Empire and because I, I think other people are in the suit for the other films. He was a very nice guy. And obviously I'm English and he's English. And he, he looked at me. I was at a convention in America and he went, do I know you? I was like, no, no, no. And at this time it was like one of the first conventions I ever went to. And I was like, no, no, don't know you. And as I turned around, there was a, a rather loud lady behind me. And she said, you should be proud that Boba Fett knows who you are. And I was like, well, thank you. Um, yeah. But that is a nice... I'm, I'm really looking for... Oh, he's got his logo on the side there. Look. I'm really looking forward to the Mandalorian TV series. So I'm hoping that there is a figure comes out of the Mandalorian that is as good as this. Got you. It's kind of weird. The, you've got to get the feet just right. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be playing around with this all week. It just screams, pose me. Yeah. That is a nice figure. So, anyway. Now we get to the other bit. If you have enjoyed this video, what I really need you guys to do is hit the like, share and subscribe button. Um, <laughs> subscribe. Yeah, it really, really helps the channel. So, yeah, that's Bob Fett. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you all have a great night. And me and the Fett will see you all in the next video. Bye now.